On this Sunday, first on 11 Alive, the death of a young woman six months ago serving as a catalyst for change. Brittany Glover died in September after she was struck by a vehicle along a stretch of Metro Atlanta Highway. Six months later, the person who hit her has not been found. Earlier today, as a show of respect, friends and family came to the spot, the location where she died to ask state officials for change, all in the name of pedestrian safety. 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles is here to tell us the changes that they are now fighting for. Officials with Atlanta police tell me they still haven't arrested anyone in connection to Brittany's death, and that's why her mother traveled all the way from Ohio this weekend to fight for change. Happy birthday, Brittany! It's Valerie Handy Carey's first birthday without her. Brittany was passionate about her family. She was excited about traveling the world. That was one reason why she wanted to become a flight attendant. And Brittany Glover earned her wings. But last September, Brittany got another set of wings when she was hit and killed on Donald Lee Hollowell Parkway in Atlanta two days after moving here. This highway has been on our radar for several years now because it's one of the city's most dangerous. And on this busy highway, Rebecca Serna's organization Propel ATL, as well as Britney's loved ones, gathered on the semi-anniversary of Britney's death to call for change. Reducing the speed limit, the stop sign um, for the pedestrians. They can push a button and they can be signaled to walk when it was safe. And then arresting the people who did it. Atlanta Councilwoman Keisha waits with some additional ideas. Getting a traffic device here, a light. Our goal is to get more signage that actually states what the speed limit is. DLH Parkway is a state road, but Waits says local legislation is still possible. To change the speed limit, it will require state approval, so Waits plans to bring these issues to state officials. Brittany is a daughter of our city. Uh, Brittany moved here for a better life. She never got that opportunity, and so I believe we have a moral obligation. Brittany was Valerie's only daughter. She'll never get to see her walk down the aisle, but in Brittany's honor, she says she'll continue to fight for other pedestrians to be able to walk safely. I will say it's encouraging. But the proof is in the pudding. You can tell me whatever. But until I see that change happening, then it's all just talk. Valerie also hopes to someday get Brittany's name on the intersecting street. As for the fatal hit and run, if you know anything which can lead to help in this case, reach out to Atlanta police.